Just because I feel like it, I don't know why not to do it. Um, to let y'all know again, a few of the other songs that are possibly and should make this International Women's Day album. Um, like I just said uh, to end of the last video off, my song title Real Recognizes Real, which is a uh, starring and is a tribute song to my dearly beloved friend from West Virginia, my dearly beloved sister from West Virginia, Miss um, Rachel Steele. And again, if anybody had been going to these for the past two, three years and knows who Miss Allie McDaniel and Paul McDaniel is, you definitely should be in so much way connected to who Miss Rachel Steele is. Miss Rachel Steele was the um, cover of um, of her actual tribute song titled Rachel Steele, which is um, the uh, intro song to um, Bridgeport Bars. Uh, because again, Bridgeport Bars is a tribute album that's still in construction to the um, whereabouts of where she's from over there in, at um, or just in Bridgeport, West Virginia. So forth and so forth. So, um, Real, Real Recognize is real. And I messaged her later, not later on. I messaged her uh, earlier on this month or last month. Yo, I recorded another another tr tribute song for you titled Real Recognize is Real. And it's going to be on one of these albums. Um, so on and so forth. Real Recognize is Real was supposed to be on... Um, the Freedom and Independence album, but I'm pretty sure I'm probably just gonna put it on the International Women, uh, w w Women's Day album. Forgive me for my stuttering. I stutter at times. Uh, the International Women's Day album is probably gonna be on that because my drive now is fully focused towards finishing that album up. It's fully dedicated towards finishing that album up. With four songs in, let's see how much deep deeper I can go for it. But um, Another song that I really am going to put on that album, even though a part of me is like, nah, put that under a Love and Relationships album or a Heartache set in, it's titled Never See You Again. Uh, Never See You Again is not fully a sad song whatsoever or a breakup song. It's really another another, another tribute song to one of my daily beloved good friends named Gracie. Um, and it was dedicated to the to the moment where I thought I would never see her again. Like Even though I had her, 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 Snap, her Snapchat and her phone number, yeah, I had her Snapchat and her phone number, right? But I thought I would never see her again around town locally, and not because she was moving, um, but I just didn't just thought I would never see, you know see her again because of you know work sit work sit, sit situations and stuff like that, you know opportunities with work and stuff like that. So I thought I would never see her again, and that's why I came, came up with the song "Thought I'd Never See You Again." But shout out was to her and her daily, um, and, and her um, couple of your boyfriend, uh, Mr. Caleb. Uh, I forgot your new rapper name, but he goes the oh his old his old rapper name is K Drizzle. And again, if you definitely graduated a part of the class of sixteen or fifteen, I think it was sixteen, you definitely know who he is. Or the class of seventeen, I forgot which class he came in with, but I think it was the class of uh sixteen. You definitely know who Mr. Caleb is, uh, aka Craig K Drizzle, aka it. I forgot his, his his new name, but I still know him by K Drizzle. But um, that's a tribute song to him and his girl. Uh, they're again a beautiful young life couple and I wish them the absolute best so that's again what Never See You Again has to deal with you know and uh, so forth and so forth songs that again might make the International Women's Day album Imagination at Work if that doesn't make this album it will definitely make Palm Valley's album because Imagination at Work again has to do with you know kids and their imagination at work uh, Kids Night um, I got that song title from Golden Corral commercials of Kids eat free or kids eat for ninety nine cents at kids night. So I got that song title from there. That has a better that has a better chance of going on Palm Valley's album than it does anything else. Just to let everybody know. Under the influence. So once again, I pride myself in many cases on taking almost everyday song titles. I wouldn't say which we take for granted, but everyday song titles which describe our everyday life and moods and etc. I kind of I pride myself on trying to take some of those song titles and make some beautiful art out of it. So my song title "Under the Influence" has everything to do with yeah, I'm under the influence with Christ and or of Christ to do right, to do better, to chase my better tomorrow, and to do right by everybody which I'm around. So that's pretty much what it has to do with. Because usually under the influence has to do with drugs and alcohol, but Knowing me and definitely my past history with